Are you tired of lag ruining your Fortnite experience? Well, in this video, I'll show you the ultimate guide to achieving zero ping and a higher FPS in Fortnite Chapter 5. Make sure you just stick to the end of the video to see what the pros use in order to get zero delay and a thousand FPS in game. Alright guys, so the best thing you can do for ping is your geography or having ethernet. If you don't have ethernet and you have a wireless connection, you will have worse ping because it is not a direct connection, which also means you can have more packet loss and higher ping. If you get ethernet, you'll have lower ping, less packet loss, and you will all around have a better time in the game. Next thing to get zero ping. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is this is if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you're gonna right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel, and you're going to want to go to manage 3D settings, and you'll want to be right, go down to lay, low latency mode. Depending on your type of PC, you will want to have it either on or on ultra. So if you have a low to mid tier PC, you will want to have it on on. If you have a, a god tier PC, which is like the newest of the newest stuff, you'll want to put it on ultra. The only reason you would want to put it on on instead of ultra is because some PCs cannot handle it. And then you sh there should be an apply button right here. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do to get game mode is go here, click on settings, open up settings, go to system, be in display, and go down to graphic settings, and you're going to want to turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This will improve your performance in game, so this will give you better FPS and ping. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is choose an uh, app to hi have high performance. So I'm gonna delete Fortnite right here, just so I can show you. So you wanna go desktop app, you wanna press browse, and then you wanna go to your local disk, program files 86. Okay, you wanna go to Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and find Win64 shipping. It should be the biggest file. And you'll wanna click on that and press add and then go to options and do high performance. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn on game mode for your PC and get rid of captures. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go here, open up settings, get on settings. Once you're on settings, you'll wanna to go to gaming, game bar captures and game mode. And you wanna, on game bar, you wanna have this off and then you want to turn off, allow your controller to open game bar and this will help with input delay and FPS. And then you wanna to go to captures and you wanna have that off if you have anything there and you wanna to go to game mode and you wanna turn game mode on. This will help your PC optimize for the games you are playing. The next thing we're gonna do is a CMD. This will help clean your PC and check its health. So the first, the thing you're gonna do is gonna be right click on your start button, press run, type in CMD, press okay. And you want to do this code. It will be in the link, or it will be, it will be in the description. You want to do SFC slash scan now and press enter. This will scan your whole PC for any issues or complications. And it, sh depending on your PC, it could take longer or a shorter amount of time. Okay, once it is complete, it you're hoping that it will say Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. This will make it so that you know your PC is running at full throttle. If you do get something, it will say either Windows Protection found something and could not uh, repair the files, or it said it found something wrong with your PC, but it repaired the files. And if you have something wrong with your files, these are the next codes you're gonna to wanna to use, but I would use these codes anyways because these will help with your PC just in general. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go down into the description and copy this code. And you want to press enter. This will scan your PC for any like health related issues of your PC. So if anything's running bad or corrupt files or stuff like that, this will make verify it. Okay, once it has completed, it will tell you either no corruption has been detected or the operation was completed successfully and there sometimes can be corruption. If there is corruption, you will want to use this 
code. It will be in the description. It will be DISM online cleanup image restore help and click enter and it'll get your latest version of Windows and restore it to that point so that it will be the best version that you can have on your PC and it will fix any corrupt files from Windows or your PC. Okay, once it reaches 100% and it's completed, it will tell you the restore operation completed successfully and the operation completed successfully. By cleaning up your PC, it should restore any corrupt files which could be causing you uh, FPS issues and uh, input delay issues. Okay, and the last thing is, and I'm not sponsored by this whatsoever, but the next thing is called Gear Up Booster. This thing is insane. I did my free trial about a week ago, and I was running horrible ping. It says 59, but that's because it's on Central, and I'm a West player, so I was getting about 80 ping in Central, which is now about 54 ping. And in West, I was getting about 60 ping, but now I'm getting about 25 to 30 ping. And in Creative, I was getting about 30 ping, and now I'm getting about 5 to 10 ping. So by getting this, um, and there will be a link in the description to download it and try it out for free using my code. And if you do use this, I promise you this will lower your ping by a lot every pro uses it even the pros with zero ping like clicks and asian jeff they all run this software because it gives them lower ping even though they already have zero